Hi viewers, uh, the electoral bond scheme introduced by the central government is now considered unconstitutional and the Supreme Court has declared its verdict. Let's discuss more about this with uh, Mr. T.S. Krishnamurti, former Chief Election Commissioner. Hello, sir. So let me begin by asking you, why was the electoral bond scheme introduced in the first place? Well, the government claimed that it is a new method of funding the political parties as against an earlier as against the earlier system where the average net profit of three years of companies were allowed to be given as political donation with, of course, in this disclosure of information. It was probably felt by them that there was not uh, much of a uh, uh, transparency in companies giving donations to political parties, although I'm not very sure about the authenticity of this claim. But they introduced this barrier bond scheme to enable companies to freely donate to political parties without that na name being disclosed. So that is the ostensible justification for introducing the electoral bond scheme. I'm a little interested in the timing of this verdict. In your opinion, is the verdict a little bit too late or has it come just in time before the elections? How do you think it will impact the upcoming elections? Well, um, this scheme, when it was introduced at that time itself, many had criticized the lack of transparency because only half transparency that was claimed because it was money was being channelized through the banks. But you never have any clue of the source of the funds or the name of the donor. So it has been fairly widely criticized. In fact, I myself had mentioned that this is not a a clean method of funding political parties and that there are a lot of objections, particularly because it could it could provide an opportunity for, uh, for funds which are not clean in the sense the dirty money could also be channelized through this kind of a method since the donor's name is not disclosed. As far as the timing of the decision, well, I would have been happy if it had been decided even earlier. Because for, they have almost allowed it for the three, more than three years to continue. But then I hope the judicial system has its own limitations. And in any case, it has been decided. And the sooner it is decided and implemented, the better it is. One more question I wanted to ask you was, does this give the opposition parties enough breathing space just before the elections? Because I have the ADR report with me uh, for the period of 2015-16, to 2021-22, which says parties received uh, donations through electoral bonds worth 9,188 crore rupees approximately. And BJP was the major beneficiary. They have received around 5,271 crores. Other parties put together have got 1,783 crores approximately. So my question is, does this give parties, opposition parties enough breathing space just before the elections or is it too late for them? See, uh, my impression is that whether it is the state government or central government, the donors through the electoral bond scheme favored the ruling party at the center of the state. So it is not necessarily the center, even the state government, if you analyze the state parties funding through electoral bonds, will find the ruling parties got more money through electoral bonds. So. As far as the opposition parties are concerned, it has to be made very clear the funds are supposed to be refunded. I am not sure whether the Supreme Court judgment has given any time limit by which the money is to be refund refunded because they have all been spent by the political or at least major part of it must have been spent. Now, how they will return, I do not know. This is a question which I think the political parties will have to introspect. It will affect all parties, but it will affect the ruling parties at the state and the center more because the quantum involved is more. Right. How will it affect the elections? Yes, it is going to affect the elections because if the money is to be refunded immediately, political parties will have tremendous stress in returning this money. So I don't know because the, I went through the judgment. I couldn't find any time limit having been given. For the I think the judgment money. says uh, they have to return the bonds that are uncashed. So if they have already cashed it, I don't think they'll have to return it. That's what the judgment says. Now, as far as money already encashed and spent, 
Is it not to be returned by the political parties? I thought it is held unconstitutional retrospectively, not prospectively. So uh, there are questions, of course, I'm afraid yeah. the political parties will address, but it will create tremendous stress on political parties, both yeah. in terms of collecting new funds as well as in refunding the already collected amount. I was going to get to that, you know, collecting funds. Now, if they are not allowed, this uh, electoral bond scheme is deemed unconstitutional. What will the political parties do now for funding with the elections fast approaching? The immediate impact with the Supreme Court judgment is that the old law will revive. That means the companies will pay as per the direction to the Companies Act, where it was said 7.5% right. of the average net profits to the company for three years could be given as a donation with disclosure of all information relating to the donation. Right. Now, within the limited time that the elections are to be held, whether they be able to muster so much of funds or not, this much of fund is to be seen. I think it is a problem with the political parties. They have to address themselves. Otherwise, otherwise whether they will ask for time, I, I really do not know. These are issues which need to be considered. Right, so uh, thank you so much for your time uh, and discuss, in, in discussing this judgment. Thank you, uh, thank you. Thank thank you, you very you. much. Thank you. Extensive, unbiased, thorough. The Federal Pudhiya Talaymure Apt Nationwide 2024 Pre-Poll Survey gives you the pulse of the nation. 7 p.m. on the Federal's YouTube channel. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.